Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm just getting the last couple things set up. And then we will be on our way. Um, so, let's see here. Sending notifications to the places that need them. Uh, making sure that everything actually looks correct and everything. Because, uh, super fun thing. Uh, if you saw it on Discord or Twitter, um, I had the super fun uh, experience of my desk suddenly uh, breaking yesterday and having to run out to Ikea uh, to buy a new one, which was uh, quite a thing, quite a thing all of a sudden. Um, I had not planned on uh, spending the money to do so, but um, yeah, so it was a bit of a sudden expense, but so it goes. Ah, uh, that said, tonight we're going to be jumping into Mass Effect Legendary Edition once again. Um, heading into Mass Effect 2, where we're going to get to have, uh, have some fun uh, with new stuff, new people. Um, and we can talk more about uh, kind of the complexities of the lore and military sci-fi and how... Um, you know, the influences of everything in that. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, get, do, 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 uh, get Mass Effect launched and we will, uh, just get going. Let's see. Now I had it, I had it up a moment ago and what did I do with it? Dear God, this is the first time I've ever lost a game in my Steam library. I lose physical objects all the time. Losing a game is a little bit confusing. <laughs> but here we go. All right, it is now connecting. We are getting ready. So let's go ahead. Let's see. Let's make sure that... Okay, come on. Come on. It's sure taking its time. All right, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and flip. Over. Whoa, that got loud fast. I apologize for that. All right, here we go. There we go. That's closer to what we actually need. Um, let me make sure all of this is appropriate. Um... Okay, so we're going to jump into Mass Effect 2 this time. Let's get started. Uh, which means I should actually go ahead and uh, stop the music. Music, of course, provided by Chill Hop now. Um, oh, come on. That was weird that it did that. Oh. All right, we're going to keep an eye on that capture and make sure that the game doesn't, uh... All right, uh, new game. Uh, we're going to import over our exact same Shepard from before. We're going to keep going with her, you know. Uh, subtitles on squad power usage. What is this? When enabled, squad members use their most effective powers in combat. When disabled, uh, they only use defensive and ammo powers. Oh, okay. Yeah, we want them to use that normally. Autosave, yes, absolutely. Gotcha. Um, do, 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 auto level up. Um, let's see. Uh, the squad, I will let auto level because I will forget to do that. Uh, but I want to, I want to do Shepard manually. Okay. 
So, name, Jane Shepard, rank, fifth, okay. Military spec, infiltrator, paragon, yep. Status of Rex, Rex survived. Ashley was killed on Vermeer, or Vermeer, I don't know how they want to pronounce that. Uh, the council was saved, and we got a council seat. So. That was definitely a pop. Hmm. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Who is Shepard this? Uncovered the truth. Still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But is they're that... sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. With Shepard, they'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the Galactic community's troubles were revealed. The Alliance made a tremendous sacrifice to set, uh, save the Citadel Council and earned humanity membership in the prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicate all organic civilization... That went way too fast. That went way too fast for me to read it all. <laughs> okay. That was way too fast. Come on. Wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Yeah, Something huge upgrade in graphics. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm, looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Hmm. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Uh. Uh. Okay. So what is what is this? What is happening? Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a that's a hell of a start. All right. Uh. Well, they'll be here. I guess. I guess that's what we're gonna say. We're gonna we're gonna be. The Alliance won't So we are sending our girlfriend to go uh, go evacuate people. Everybody in! Go! 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 Uh, 
Oof. Well, I'm sorry, no name crew uh, crew member. That was that was rough. Oh. Oh no. The the ship is. It's such a good ship. I I. <laughs> The Normandy is such a nice ship. I want it. Okay. Okay, we're going to the Okay. All right, let's let's go. Go back to the cockpit. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh. Come on. Come on. All right. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I really did like the Normandy's design. This was, it's a good, sh it was a good ship. Okay. Okay. You know what? Joker better survive. Okay. Let's. Okay. Come Over on, here. Joker. Oh, oh good. He's got a. No, I won't abandon well, the Normandy. I can still save her. That, that suit's not gonna. Not gonna help you very much, Joker. <laughs> There's no coverage for for anything other than his head. What 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 is this? It's okay, Joker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know he's got brittle bones, but this is... Oh, no. Oh, I mean, this... This actually hurts. Like, it... Oh... It's such a cool ship, and now it's just gone. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that's what you get for flying, uh, flying a ship meant for uh, stealth into a combat zone. Okay, is there a leak? Oh, God. Okay, there was a leak. And now we're gonna... And now we're just gonna die. And now... And now... And now we're just dead. <sighs> this is... You know... I... 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 <sighs> That's certainly a way to start. Uh, Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events. Sure! I didn't know this was a thing. Okay. Interactive backstory comic. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. We haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make. The paths you choose. Sorry, unnecessary boobs on the on the uh, on the course, suit there. That's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. Mm, okay. And look where that got me. This is how they made the big choices on the PS3 the version. Captain there. Anderson's new ship when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. Right. Okay. It was, okay. It was massive. <laughs> Look, the unnecessary. There was also unnecessary blue butt. Yes, in the first one. But I mean, like, literally, this is just like such a. Uh, it just feels very unnecessary, especially considering the uh, how how the the suits are rendered in game. 
And then, of course, you go to the comic, and it's like, no, but but we gotta put boobs, right? Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. Hit him with it, some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went... I didn't remember I Caden couldn't... getting hit by it. I barely breathed. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. You know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. No. But those two heavyweights. It said interactive. So far, this has not been interactive. Was the individual behind the attacks? The main suspect for the Eden Prime massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence Why is there a that the ship big... was connected to Saren. But even oh, okay, there the are panels that are popping in. Okay. I was confused as to why there were big black. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. That's fine. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was... Oh, okay, 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 gotcha. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter... Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. It was his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. That's... Uh, I mean, I can, I can understand that. A nice kind of, like, walking you through it. She procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime. And the immense warship we'd spotted was, in fact, Saren's flagship. I mean, I'm glad I'm watching this through as kind of a Saren would recap to anyway. Bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his specter status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human specter. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Venezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. <laughs> Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission, finding Saren. So, oh. Thanks to Liara's help, we I do feel leader, kind of bad for for Caden. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Venezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Venezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Venezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. 
You've somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. Sure, I was left with an angry, dangerous he was, I yeah. to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. The Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species <laughs> past sins. And the queen was true to her word. I mean, she left I, I fully drones. stand by this Jerry decision to let the Rachni go. I the there was no reason to to mur to to kill the queen. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. The Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, but these Krogan weren't real. But They're not really down. spiders, though. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. And I'm glad we were actually we able to save Rex. You know, or reason with Rex. He was already in communication with the Reapers. It's actually something that in uh, Saren's flagship we'd always uh, seen uh, Dragon Age Inquisition I felt Reaper. really it spoke to me, mm, really bad about. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. <sighs> And a great soldier. I, I, I do feel I made the right choice in saving Caden, though. the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our Yeah, I'm, that's what I was noting Until too. Moment, we put our feelings um, aside for the sake of the mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. It was and a it little was interesting. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the yeah, Citadel was the key to I'd, controlling the mass relay. I would imagine so. I mean, it's, the Citadel, they found it definitely was like the, the one space. mission the from from ME1 that didn't quite fit in. Right, like there was nothing... The to dark space. There weren't but any the real heavy choices in like what you would do with that Citadel. necessarily. It was intact but heavily damaged. It caught the council fleet by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And 
with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleet could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running. Yeah. And I was done chasing Yeah, exactly. Him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The I fully stand by my decision to do this, too. The um, the galactic community. It was both the right thing to do and the strategic thing to do. Took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. And on the one hand, fully Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, who would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier, tough but fair, but a friend, and, and someone I could trust. I also stand behind choosing Anderson over Udina. Anderson didn't want the I job, mean, which was a sure <laughs> sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition. Udina no is just. He, he was so sleazy, right? The like, he was just, I didn't trust him. Officially, the council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. Routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Okay, so. I'm guessing that whoever it was that we, that the, uh, in, or the, whoever those two people we were talking to. has been recovered. Yeah, okay. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Okay, that's what I thought, is that it was whoever we had, who, those two people we saw talking at the beginning, they're the ones who were responsible for attacking the ship. Okay, got it. All right, let me lower the volume just a little bit. This is definitely... So, we're looking at some kind of... Those were... I mean, they were, but to be... I mean, they're, they weren't as broken as they probably should have been, considering that we fell from orb... Since we fell through the atmosphere... Like, there should not have been enough of us left for <laughs> for this. Uh, we're just going to accept our imported face. Uh, ooh. So we get to choose a new one? It looked like we were starting to burn up. Like, there was definitely some heat on us. Uh Okay, so we so we can just um basically just character creation again. Okay, so I think we're going to Oh, this time we can get a cloak. Cloak incinerate and AI hacking. Um 
Not the soldier, I don't think. Vanguard, uh, no. No. I think we're gonna go Infiltrator again. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna just go Infiltrator again. I kind of, I kind of enjoy the, uh, the more tactical approach that it requires. She's reacting to outside stimuli. Showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Boston. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Her brain's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Unless you're talking about D&D. &D. In which case, if it ain't broke, take another feat until it is. Okay, okay, so now it's time for us to wake up. Space is sprint. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Okay. W and space bar is vault. Keep moving, we need to get to the shuttles. Okay, okay. Continuing. Okay. The fact that we have ammo now instead of a cooldown. Wait. Okay, so spacebar is still both interact and uh, is both interact and sprint. Okay. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, I can. I can. I can. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. 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 Got to do this. All right. Uh, squad. Let's see. Uh, can I cloak? Let's see. How many points do I have? I have six points. Uh, so let me... Let's see. Okay. So if I go to... Go all the way here. Okay. Wait. Hang on. Each level takes more points. Okay. So if I go, all right, so I spent two points to get there. Okay, uh, disruptor, uh, bum, 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 bum. all right, uh, so I'll grab that. All right, now I get one more. Uh, can I purchase this? No, I can't yet. Um, <laughs> Uh, do I want to purchase... Yeah, I'll purchase one rank of incinerate, and... Uh, I'll purchase a rank of that. Ooh, okay, so... Okay. Okay, come on. Move, 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 move. Okay, okay. So there my electric ammo was useful. I definitely, um, ooh, okay, come on, move, move, move. I definitely, uh, 
Is there a med kit somewhere that I can use? What's this? I don't know what that was, but hopefully it's useful. Ooh, I will take that. Uh, oh, wait. What's happening? There we go. That's what I wanted. We've been spotted. Take the elevator down one floor. Okay, let's go ahead. Elevator down. Um. Okay, okay. This way? This way? Oh, oh, the thing we, the thing I picked up was ammo? Okay. Let's go through here. Okay, wait. Um, alright, I'm grabbing... I'm grabbing stuff... I'm raiding the log... I'm reading, I'm reading the logs in order to, uh... Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. There was a wall safe, right? Can I... How do I access the wall safe? Okay, we've done that. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so now we've been turned into... Okay. So now... So we've been turned into some kind of cyborg. Oh, I didn't even notice it. The armor has boobs now. That's unnecessary. It didn't need boobs. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, took that one out. Okay, got money. Alright. Are uh, you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for Hostiles detected. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Okay. Just a few. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be, when they brought you here. Well, that, Our hang on. The last two years you that's back not. Together. You've been comatose. That's Four not nice. That's not a nice Welcome way to, to break life. that into. This doesn't look like an alliance facility. It is. I can't say much more than that for now. Uh, huh. declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. So this is don't get to those shuttles. What was the uh it was Cerberus? Something? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Okay. Okay, uh, so I want. Sure. Okay. That's fine. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Uh, tell me about my crew. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Oh. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, bro. the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Uh, and where is everyone? Any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. Okay. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. 
Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. This is definitely kind of sketchy. They said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, like they'd it, put you in a coffin. <laughs> Project Lazarus was different. <laughs> that's that's out. true. That's true. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But it's it's but it's a little bit like any time like somebody draws art of like a like a one piece swimsuit, and it's like you just might have you really don't understand how swimsuits work, do you? Are there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Best technology. I mean, look, we haven't discovered for sure that they are I mean, I have my suspicions that this is Cerberus, but they didn't say explicitly that they were Cerber Cerberus. So Damn fine though. I was getting ready for some shut eye, then bam, bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. All right, so tell me about you, Jacob. Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station security. Uh -huh. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. And what about Miranda? Miranda the sketchy the woman. Lost just I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Well, it sure didn't sound and good, Jacob. Fire an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, well, that's everyone. So that's er, <laughs> everyone. That's everything we could investigate. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the next one. Okay. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. So who? I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. Service okay. tells this way. All right. So let's uh, let's see. Is there? Ooh. Log More logs. It's alive! I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. So how, how do I crouch? Can I crouch? Okay. Got it! Okay, that's a that's an ammo clip on the floor. Let's go this way. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, let's reload. Alright, let's go. Let's sprint. Yeah, that's... Uh, th that's what I'm discovering, is there's no crouch if there's no... Uh, if there's no cover. That's okay. Shepherd, down here. Okay. Wait. Oh, here. Okay. That's you. So let me make sure. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to make sure. Got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah. That was me. 
Alright, let's see. We talk about this after we fix my leg. I mean, sure, station, but I kind of, get him up and moving again. I kind of want to just the first aid get on the, wall. the information. Okay, oh, move mouse over the unity power. All right. I do enjoy how the animation of like unity and like healing everyone is like injecting yourself with something. Maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. I right, Shepard. I think I'm gonna go mostly Miranda. Paragon Can't this run behind. again. Forget about Miranda. Um, she was over a the mechs were all but over then, uh, no way she survived. a bunch of mechs won't drop. Who Miranda. knows? She's alive. I feel like a few of these are gonna need to be renegade options. There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. Hmm. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay. Maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Yeah. We can overload the canister. Okay, wait, hang on. Hang on. Ah! Max don't know when to quit. Okay, wait. Let me. Let lie. me move. Nope. Wait. Okay. And use overload. On the crates. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, I didn't mean okay, to use the. Down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? Will so I trust you? you? Maybe. Won't make it if she's I mean. A shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that we. Yep. You. Yep. Cerberus. Controlled by Cerberus. Thought so. That sounds I think familiar. I a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I uh -huh. have Right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Oh. Elusive man. I, I mean, is he in charge of all this? Yeah. This is his real name very, mu very, Nobody very clearly. His code name, the Alliance used for. Him. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, we're gonna say I'll never I don't work. I care what they did or what you say. I am not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss, but after we've saved our butts, we're almost okay. at the shuttle. All right, we're gonna go over here. Uh, we're gonna look and see. Yes, that was the right Paragon thing. Okay, there's a there's a data pad, right? I s there's something I can. Where's the data pad? Where's the that's that I want? Okay, come on, this way. All right, let's. Open this door. In some comfort, you get a prompt. Oh, okay. Okay, so kind of a quick time event. Um, all right, I'm doing a, I'm using mouse and keyboard right now, but that's good to know. I might switch to uh, I might switch to controller uh, for that then. Okay. Gotcha. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. You. Can I overload you? Yeah, I'll I'll take a look. I'll take a look a little uh, in a second once we're 
a little more clear of these. There we go. Managed to blow all those up. Alright. Ooh. Hang on. Play this again. Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching things, select them before. Oh, okay. It's a matching game. Okay. Start the bypass. Boom. Easy. Okay. Okay. Let's grab that data pad. Grab more money. Take all the money. We're going to need it. Okay. Moving forward. More ammo. Another door. Come on, through here. We're almost at the Wilson's about to die. But you were dead. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh my job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. Well, now you Should can't... Should have taken him alive, see what he knew. Too risky. <laughs> I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> if you say so. Of What's course. our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything <sighs> else you want to commander? There's lots of things I want to ask. Where were Maybe you? you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon, if you ask Wilson. All right. What about uh, other what about survivors? The rest of the people on the station. This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. I really don't like you, Miranda. Risks when we signed up. I li no really don't like Miranda. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. Uh -huh. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Something tells me that she the really Lazarus wouldn't project actually project let me do that. That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask <laughs> the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Uh. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Well, that's everything I can ask. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. All right. Well. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests. Okay. Yes, yes, Shepard yes. Took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? Right, we, we've already asked yeah. this question, but I want to see what this looks like. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start sooner we can be done start with personal history okay records show you grew up on earth tough environment no parents you and yes. you survived a thresher maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team 
Yes. I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes well, you. Yeah, and we discovered that Cerberus was behind it. Fifty Marines died in a cruise. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda. Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeil, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. I really don't trust that woman. Like, it really feels like she definitely started the mech attack. Um, just to see and try and uh try and garner some goodwill i wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting okay the elusive man is waiting for you in okay the other room. he's waiting Ooh, <gasps> we can customize our look interesting okay uh oh okay i don't have other things okay i just want to say so let's take let's take a look at this. Fine armor, relatively flat chested though. I like this is perfectly normal attire. We put on armor and all of a sudden the boobs are accentuated. Why? Normal shirt, boobs. Normal shirt, boobs. <laughs> Why? Uh, I think, you know what? We're going to, our casual appearance is just going to be a hoodie. We're just wearing a hoodie. Uh, separate thing. I really want an N7 hoodie just for myself. Uh, that's a nice dress. These are all kind of formal. We're just going to, we're just going with this though. They do make them. I just haven't ordered one. I'm trying to lose more weight before I uh before I get one. Yeah, no, they they do have uh they do sell official ones. And of course, yeah, I mean there's a million unofficial ones out there too. Um Thank you for that. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know. Everyone say hello to meters. Everyone say hello to my brother. <laughs> Hope you're having a good night. Yes, the fact that he's being played by uh Martin Sheen is a lot. <laughs> he might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Well, you're not you my friend, right Mr. Elusive Man. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. Okay. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring them It back? is bothering me that his name We're is the war. Elusive I'm Man humanity with an I. While you I have to... I, entire colonies have been disappearing. He's not elusive. He is illusive. Okay. You've seen it yourself. Okay. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we That's what I thought. Just looking up the definition of illusive because I have to. You know, illusive sounding like illusory. Um yes, that's exactly what it is. It's deceptive or illusory. 
from the early 17th century uh, from the medieval Latin illusivis or illus uh, mocked from the verb illudere or il illusion. So, yeah. Cool. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. And why the Stop abductions? Stop trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. I have... I have my doubts that Cerberus hasn't all, hasn't been studying the pieces of Sovereign. Fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easy and more convenient. Uh huh. And why me? I don't love that it keeps moving, <laughs> moving the options around. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. All right, well, maybe I believe him. true that the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Uh -huh. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. This is a really Never pretty background. You're right, Belfry. Been honest about it. I would love to have a view like this. Then. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. Uh -huh. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. <laughs> okay. Um... What what just happened? What just happened? Oh no. No. It can't you stop crashing. Stop crashing. Oh, okay, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Okay, number one, I have to fix something. Um Okay, nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Yes, 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 yes. This is fine. Uh <laughs> I I do have auto uh auto save on, fortunately. Okay. Uh yes, I want borderless number 1. Um dynamic Okay, that's all fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. Okay. That's fine. Uh Okay. So the problem that it's that I'm we're running into is essentially that it just uh, limits your frame and monitor, not your monitor. Uh, yes, that's what I want. That's fine. That's fine. All of this is fine. Okay, all that's perfect. Uh, let me check the key bindings real quick. There's WASD. Walk is left control. Sprint is spacebar. Map is M. Oh, quick save. <laughs> F9, yep, yeah, or F5 and F9. Yes, 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 that's all fine, that's all fine. H is holster. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, command HUD is left shift. Wait, what was walk again? Control? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, that's all fine. Shoot is left mouse button. Yeah, okay. Mine. Oh, you can. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Those are the vehicle ones. All right, that's fine. All right. Uh, um, okay, that's fine. Do, 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 do. All right, that should be fine. Um, all right, the thing is resetting. Yes, we want to keep those. Uh, keep these. Um, it's, it's trying to get me to use, uh, HDR, even though I'm, I've set it to not use HDR. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Okay. Um, how do I unlock? Oh, I require, it requires rank two of incinerate. Okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go to a break real quick, um, and I will be right back. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick ninety seconds uh, so I can run grab some more water. See you in just a sec. Okay, and I'm back. Let's see here. Oh, I think my ad break is still running. Okay. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we can pause that music. Uh, let's see. So, let's see, what do we got? Uh, two missions. First mission, mission one, freedom's progress. Uh, investigate the colony, okay? Um, all right, that's fine. Uh, and is there an assignment? No, there's no side quests. Ooh, excuse me. I think it just, Oh, okay, we'll go over the uh, codex later. Uh, we can go ahead and quick save. Save is done. Okay. 
It's good to stretch. Good job stretching, Shepard. Okay. Let's see what we got going on over here. As I adjust all this other stuff. All right. So let's talk Elizabeth, to Miranda. I'm very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. I... I am very, very certain that... Um, we have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping I'm, I'm like 90% certain that Cerberus attacked the Normandy. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Okay. So what's the well, current mission? Can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress. It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable until the disappearance. Okay, so what are we going to find? Into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about the Lazarus Let's Project? More about the Lazarus Project than the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. Uh huh. Like what? what would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip, but the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Uh, I can say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. I the elusive man is don't, an incredible risk with you. I don't like you, Miranda. I don't like you at all. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about uh. my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Yeah, I know you're not looking for a, for a friend, Miranda, Jim but I'm trying to make you like alliance? me no, so you don't shoot me in the back. Potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious okay. you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. All right, what's Jacob got going on? I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. <laughs> no, no thank you. I, both I just want to find for out myself and for Shepard, we both rest. deserve better than no. that. Do you trust me, Commander? Uh, I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Oh, no, I hate Cerberus not on principle, but because I know what you've Why did done. You Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things Jesus. would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. Nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. Colonies go missing. Jesus, I don't like you do at it. all. You just go and find out. Oy. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's oh. Progress. Don't know much else. Like you, this we'll find Jacob is certainly it. more palatable than Miranda, but he's got the same. I guess I just got tired. Okay, no, I, I asked him that already nothing cerberus is different uh when colonies go missing we don't but the a team to write the same to sort of like no it. we're right and no out. one should get in our way oh i don't like they this all over the galaxy even spent a couple of years as a corsair i've never heard of the corsairs it was an alliance initiative they hired independent starship captains and used them for missions so you were a pirate you were you were a pirate 
technically we weren't part of the alliance. If we ever got caught, you 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 were just a a, a profiteer. We free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Privateer. There we are. Privateer. Yeah, exactly. I d oh man. That's all for now. I don't like either of them. Yes, like ugh. Oof. I I want my I want my people back who didn't uh, actually okay we already did that mission summer uh, we leveled up okay and we already spent those points import bonuses nice okay we got a whole oh we got a whole lot of resources that's nice uh, 190 Paragon, 31 Renegade. <laughs> yeah, we picked a few Renegade options, but I mean, why not? Uh, we got the grenade launcher and we got credits. Let's see, grenade, uh, buh, 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 can't pull, take down multiple enemies. Effective against armor, shield, and biotic barriers. Okay, Cerberus funding. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Do, uh, tell me about these other, the other colonies. colonies. Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. Huh. We just disappeared. We've got no target to go after. Interesting. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? If we didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Okay, what about my odds of success? Think this investigation will turn up anything new. At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. All Our right. first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. I mean, living people can answer questions, so hopefully there is someone alive. Miranda... Miranda's a little too single-minded. She needs to actually pay attention. Okay. Right, let's see. Cerberus has provided additional weapons. All right, well, I got a grenade launcher with one weapon. All right. So I've got a machine pistol, a sniper rifle, and my heavy pistol. All right, we're going to stick with the sniper rifle for the moment. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to swamp back over to the pistol. I think the pistol's going to give us our best bet at the moment. All right, can I... Uh, all right, we'll go through this door okay ns1 okay go through the door here looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner let's walk slowly We're gonna keep ourselves sort of Okay. Strange. Hmm. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Yeah, this is this is creepy. Uh okay, that's not a door that opens. Okay, Miranda, you're in the way. Alright, let's check here. Ooh. Okay, turned into a yeah, it's turned into a horror game. Come on over. Hostile. Okay, take that. Okay, okay, we gotta, Shoot we gotta move, we gotta move. Right, we're gonna go here. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, I only get one shot for, uh... Okay. This is, uh... Okay, so I get one shot. The clip on the sniper rifle is only one in this game. Okay. That's not ideal. Alright, so that means that actually I am gonna use my, uh... Means I am going to use my heavy pistol instead. I don't want you to use shotgun and you. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and let's hack the. Okay, connect the matching pins. Yes, that's fine. Did that. Alright. Uh, let's open the med kit. There was something I could salvage, right? Spare parts. Okay, I can Oh, oh. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright. I wasn't paying enough attention to my surroundings. Alright, let's, uh... Let's see, do we want to go through that? Yeah, we want... We need to go through that door. Okay. Okay. Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? Polly! Yay! Put those weapons down! Tolly! Yay! Remember when I gave you that guest data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Holly! Yay! I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. This is Likely so sweet. Story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. <laughs> you haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. I, mean, I, I think we can work together. I think Praza is right. <laughs> that, like, whoa, Shepard. hang on. He was here mm. on uh. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. That's fair. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Interesting. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. The people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? Interesting. I really That's don't like that. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job <laughs> to do. <laughs> well, okay. that's not how I'd say it. Like, yeah, that's what happened. But, like, I would have said it differently. Shut up, Miranda. Make sure to keep in radio contact. <laughs> Will do. Good luck, Shepard. I would like the option to abandon Miranda on an asteroid somewhere, please. Like, I don't want to execute Miranda. That feels a little renegade. But, um, leaving her behind somewhere. Alright. So, left shift to display information about the current... Oh, display direction of the current objective. Okay. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of it. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna go this way. Gonna go this way. This way? Look. We've been spotted. Where? Uh that was definitely somebody I didn't uh, see. Alright, let's open this wall safe. Uh bum 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 yeah. No, okay, boom, boom. You and okay, you and you, you and you, you, and you. There we go. Maybe she can be the victim of one of those choose a character to sacrifice months. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, no, Miranda very much is, uh, uh, if I have to sacrifice a character in this game, I have made the choice. Um, it will be Miranda who we sacrifice. Use overload on him. Well, okay. That... That was my plan. Okay. We've got another one. Uh, can I... Okay. Rocket down, rocket drones are down. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so can I? Can I get over there to that uh, that stuff? No, probably not. All right, so we'll go this way. Continuing our way along. Do, 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 do. Okay, woo. Okay, and now. Blow that one up. And okay, blew that one up. Uh, can we overload that one? Perfect. Blew that one up. Okay, perfect. You take point. You go there, you go there. Going to cover. Uh I am gonna swap to my rifle. <laughs> Very much a bad move. Ooh. Oh, that was certainly a thing. That was certainly a thing, wasn't it? Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Well, then I guess I'll hit it with the grenade launcher. Oh, oh no, actually. First, you overload the shield. shields. Uh, um, can we hit it with? Okay, Jacob, get your soul, get your ass back up on the ground, <laughs> off the ground. Uh Okay, now I'm going to melt you. Okay. Can I hit it with uh 
Okay, now go ahead and overload again. Um, and I'm gonna switch to. Perfect. Perfect. We did it. Yay. Okay. Let's uh, throw our guns away. No more contacts. Scan this the come mech. In handy. Nice. Got our heavy weapon armor. Uh, got some iridium. Let's get into the wall safe. Okay, well, these two match. That's easy to find. Oh, okay. Ah, no, that's not what I meant. <gasps> oh, I fully locked myself out. Interesting. Okay, so that's the first time I failed on that. Interesting. Okay. Huh. So I don't, once I fail on a safe, I don't get a second chance in this one. Okay, I'll talk to Tali in a second. Uh, I want to finish searching the buildings. Oh, I should have talked to Tali first. Shoot. Safe from swarms. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. I have to hide. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Right, Matt Button, uh, Swarms coming. to perform a Paragon action when shown on screen. Okay. So it'll be left or right mouse button, I guess. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Show us. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? Hmm. Oh my god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Okay, the interesting. Have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Hmm. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Interesting. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, huh. then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Intriguing. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. All right, Vitor. What happened next? Tell me more. The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escaped. I think that's probably hmm. all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. 
Electromagnetic dark energy. We need to get this really? data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt yes, him. Yes, you're right. See if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Prada was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnicool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We can work together, just like old times. Mm. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When Interesting. It's over, and I'm still alive. We'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important oh, it is. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, Vitor's going with Tali. I'm not going to... Tali will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood. We're not going to abduct him. I'm glad you're Jeez. still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. All right. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their I mean, the guy from Vidor's debris. Very much Still looks like uh, uh, the chain smoking man from X Files. I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive. Yeah. Back beyond the unmapped Omega. Makes arena. sense. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Uh huh. So the Omega Four relay. Unmapped. What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. And your Any interest, their interest in us? To humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Um, and the transactions? What are the getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before. And the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Mm. Hmm. Well, I guarantee that's because that that's probably because we were because of the uh, humans I'm able to get involved. something from the Prothean the Beacon, right? Buried in the data. The I'm guessing. The Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Hmm. Uh, all right, well, if can't do it alone. Need an army or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could more be specifically Shepard than humanity as a whole. Okay. Continue to track the collectors. Mm. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Interesting. Uh 
I have Keep your list. Oh. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's what I figured. Okay. Tell me. What's Garrus up to? Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been mm. able to locate him. Hmm? Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, what about Caden? Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. And Rex? Is not Rex? He returned to Chichanka. And he hasn't gone off world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Tali? What about Tali? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to it. And what Where's about Liara? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Oh, okay. huh. I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about well, the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that Serum blew it up after uh, Two things after we got zapped. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Excuse me. swarms. Mm -hmm. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I, I just have to push back against this guy at every at every opportunity. Someone you can trust. <laughs> hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Why you, is Joker? I saw you get space. Working for Cerberus. A lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. <laughs> you really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than uh. I do. But they aren't all bad. <laughs> Saved your life. That's, honestly, that's not a bad <laughs> outlook, <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Alright, the SR2, which looks an awful lot like the N7. Looks an awful lot like the Normandy. A little too shiny. A little too shiny for uh, for any stealth stuff, though. I mean, Ooh, excuse me. Still that same same iconic look, though. I guess we'll have to give her a name. All right, so we've renamed named her the Normandy again. Very nice. Good music. Alright, so we leveled up again. Uh, heavy weapon ammo. Alright, we'll need to recruit a scientist. Okay. Yada yada. More credits. More iridium. Okay. So we're... Alright, we need to recruit a number of people for our ship, don't we? Alright. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. 
Hmm. What all we got going on? Remember the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without okay. that we will be helpless if we ever run into the That's collectors. totally fair. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial Hel intelligence. Hello, Edie. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. All men aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship <laughs> away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. Interesting. I offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. All right. Uh, anyone else? It takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay. Sure. Makes sense. Alright, private terminal to get status updates. Armory down below, okay. Again, makes sense. Elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Captain's quarters to customize appearance, yada yada. Okay. Tech lab gotta acquire Professor Lupin. Okay. Welcome aboard, Commander. Alright, what are you up to, I'm Yeoman Chambers? I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I mm -hmm. must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. <laughs> Sure or no? Okay. We'll say sure. Anything else? Let's Do chat. You have a to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, Ooh. I'll make sure you Sorry about that. That was a bit of a weird click. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly... Aha! Uh -huh. So she's kind of like... Sure the the, okay, so she's the ship's counselor. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thanks, That's... Uh, what else would you like to it's good that she's here. But that's super unethical <laughs> to, sub to subject someone to therapy without their knowledge or consent is, uh, uh, pretty sketchy. Pretty sketchy. Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loves cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Kanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. That's a, uh... How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man huh. to help fight the greatest Yeah, uh, to I mean... How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. <sighs> but mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Mm -hmm. Don't All worry. Right. We'll defeat the collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Uh... I see more than catch you, Kelly. Now, that's an enticing thought. 
Anything else you'd like to talk about? <sighs> All right. We'll, we'll go back to what do you think? We're going to skip through this because I want... We look out for human that deserve it. Blah, blah, blah. Jump, 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 jump. You are very loving. Nope, that's it. Okay. Uh, well, I didn't mean to accidentally start to romance my assistant. Uh, Alright, I want to check the Steam stats. Okay. Oh, there's an awful lot of people that I can do. Okay, info. Loyalty is normal. Normal. Jacob is never actually out of uniform. Uh, let's see my upgrades. All right, just an about thing. Unread map. What do I have? Uh, ooh, from Chancellor Anderson. On the off chance the rumors are true and you actually are alive, come talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed. Okay. Reached an agreement with veteran Zaid, mercenary Zaid Masani on Omega. Okay. Uh, survey ship has gone missing. Less seen on z near Ziona. Okay. Normandy crash site. Uh, scans of trans You should see final location of the wreckage of the Normandy. Huh. Still crew, still 20. Um, okay, the Amada system. Okay, a covert hood. Okay. Project Overlord in the planet Ait Typhon system, Phoenix Massing. Okay, the Ark Projector. What is this? Recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Not to worry, I'm not sending you off ch to chase down, uh, chase anything down. Highly successful handle. Uh, since the unit is being resigned for rest and relaxation, I thought maybe we should take custody of the weapon. It's called an Ark Projector. You can, uh, and it's in the armory. Um... Good for your synthetics. Okay. Uh, hmm. Special add terminal. Uh, the difference from the usual. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So they're DLC characters. Okay. Input the password. Silence is golden to begin the random debate. Okay. Great. Okay, so we're gonna mark all of these as red. Uh, thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Uh, change from deceased to alive. After deducting the modest administration fees for closing the file, uh, you'll have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. That's fine. Uh, perfect. Okay, back. Uh, what about any archived? Okay. And now it's just the exact same. The exact same thing. Okay. Cool. So, who else do we have up here? Is there someone else I can speak to up here? I want to see controls. Oh, let me examine your controls. Can I examine anything else? Right now I'm kind of on a I'm on a codex kick at a little bit. Overlord, the arrival, and Lair of the Shadowbroker are DLC missions. Okay. Cool. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first gen frigate they could care less if the seat's free. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. 
the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> it's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. God, you were such a downer. <laughs> yes, Shepard. No, but Shepard does have my sense of humor. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? I appreciate that. What about you and Joker? Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Joker, you left an airlock open. What? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Uh-huh. So if for some reason I need to kill the AI, I gotta get to the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I Good to know. I ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the hmm. elusive men. Excuse me. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Uh-huh. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship-to-ship -ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I see control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion point <sighs> in meltdown. On the defense, I manage the Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and This is terrifying. Firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Let's put it out there. Uh, the so has monitoring what? Devices on board. He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. The fact that this dude is just, like, gonna spy on us is, uh, not Specific ideal. Functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, and some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Let's discuss Let's something else. figure out Ready? what else we got. Tell me about Cerberus. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? The structure. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's <sighs> agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Mm. Hmm? So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. So maybe what I should uh, hack Money the AI. I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Huh. Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing. I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. <laughs> of course. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? I would love this to. Is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right, let's see. Ooh, flight controls. All right, we have unlocked those.
Okay, we can open and close the shutters. Interesting. All right, let's, uh, I, 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 we're just going to explore the ship a little bit uh, and see what codex entries and things we can, uh, we can get into. Um, all right, there's an elevator. Oh, Edie's back here. This area of the ship? This is the combat information center. Here, the crew oh. receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flying from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Okay. Is there more stuff to look at over here? A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Okay, we don't have a scientist yet, so we can't do that. What about here? Is this my quarter? Oh, this is, uh... Okay, so this is... Alright, let's see. Uh, show me my full thing. Uh, the sniper rifle. All right. Let me see this. Uh, so I can either do the grenade launcher or the arc projector. Um, yeah, we're going to try that. See what that is. Right, you, I don't have extra stuff available for them. Okay. Let's talk to Jacob real quick. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Risky you assignment. change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has really? Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Sure. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, that's fine. Um. Oh, this isn't. I approve of this change. You can look down and stuff. Um, I don't love that there are no stairs. All right, here's the communications room. Oh, new, uh, new comms room. This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows hmm. lag-free hmm. communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Now, I mean, that's not really how qubits work, but... Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly nope, as much as a quantum. I already asked in addition that. To the to contact a hundred different worlds. I am, I mean, look, my, my physics knowledge is actually f fairly limited. Um, I don't have a great knowledge of physics. Um, I have a math and computer science knowledge, but not physics. What's this area of the ship? So, the there are other people who can explain it better. Using Omni tool computer-aided design and manufacturing 
we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Okay. Can I manufacture? Can I? <laughs> Listen, if I need if I need uh, physics information, I ask meters. Can I help you with something? Meters can answer all of the physics questions I'm you want. In just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Uh -huh. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped the Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved a Citadel like you, but what's the saying? A good deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. <laughs> The whole thing was hushed like they're good at this. Since, since when I has that problem. been a saying? I have never heard anyone <laughs> say anything of like that. We don't have a full complement. Where's physical? Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. There's physical. Yeah, a bad, a bad, bad instructor can really, really ruin your, uh, really ruin things for you i mean it's like um that's me in chemistry honestly um as fascinating as i find like chemical interactions and things i had an absolutely awful chemistry instructor who um yeah, i mean it was just just bad this bad. I don't want to go into too many details. I mean, it's it, but like, it was it was really rough. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go up to my personal cabin. Biochem is better than general chem. Yeah, I I would. I mean, quite frankly, that's that's been my experience with like a lot of like specific stuff. Is like general the general subject matter courses across the board for science are just bad. I mean, I guess it's true for the humanities as well. Um, the general ones are just always so bad. Uh, and they can really, really pre prevent people from getting into fields that they actually might like. Um, and honestly, I don't have a solution for that like i liked i i prefer not to complain about things without you know having some form of potential solution to at least offer um i got nothing there okay uh oh, lots of metals okay uh let's open my private thing uh is there another unread message no No fish. Sadly, no fish. I appreciate that there's a fish tank in it, it, fish tank in here, but no fish. Let's see. Mm. There we go. Nice calming music in here. We don't need dance music. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So helmet. Recon hood. Okay. Oh, increase hood. Uh, increases weapon damage by five. The N7 breather. Health by five. Health by five. All right. So we're going to go here. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. Ooh. I can change the material. I think the first one's fine. Oh, wow. That's a lot of different colors. I apologize, it's gonna get a little flashy as I scroll through these. I think we're gonna stick with the gray. Um, I'll be honest, I, they did a really good job with the initial palette, color palette design uh, for this. I, I actually kind of like the default. neon pink to match her hair um you know we can 
Yeah, we we can go for uh Yeah, we're gonna go with uh let's see, we don't have uh it's not really a pink. There's well, this is pink ish. There we go. Close enough. Alright. Gonna go back and get in the elevator. Uh, we'll head down to the crew quarters now. <laughs> I gotta say, I do kind of appreciate that they... Um, they did... The, okay, wait, hang on. Is the restroom... Nope. The restroom is terrible. The restroom is absolutely terrible. It's not it's not the group showers. The group shower is fine. But why why are the toilets like this? Why are the toilets just here open to the shower? Why? That is totally unnecessary. Also, this is a military ship. Um the idea of having separate restroom is on the starboard side of the ship yeah Edie shut up there is no reason to have two separate restrooms on a starship you're trying to save space well um oh, uh, I'm guessing that means that Crewman Rolston uh, is gonna die because he's talking about being there for his daughter's birthday. So that means uh, he's gonna be dead soon. <laughs> that's that's just uh, that's just narrative structure right there. <laughs> The, you, you never talk about like important birth Im, important birthdays or uh retirement that's what that's what sci-fi has taught me again. or just media in general or something I'm sorry princess Filet mignon and caviar coming right up let me just get on my doilies that'd be real nice mr Gardner okay let's go in the medical lab dr Chakwas. You're back. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Hmm. What do you, you need, Dr. Chuckless? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. All right. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive. And we have much larger concerns. Ice today. brandy. She wants I've ice been brandy. With the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Hmm. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. All right, so why do you That's join Cerberus? Cerberus? Today, I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I, uh, I, I, can, I can approve of that. Will be I can approve of that. I trust you, Commander. All right, what about our odds There's of survival? There's a chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for Oop. that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz, 
We survived the battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. All right, let's, uh... We didn't ask her about our odds of survival, did we? No, we did. We, we literally just did. Okay. See you later, Doctor. Come on. Wow. My memory is just full of holes. All right, well, let's, uh... Access to the AI core is restricted. Yeah, well, we're gonna change that, Edie. We're gonna, we're gonna get access to your core at some point. Shepherd, the hero of the Citadel, you did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here, how can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? Yeah, I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking hmm. down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. All right, what do I need to get for you? Quality ingredients. Oh shit! You've got more to worry about than groceries. Mm, no, no. On the we need good food. Give me food. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. I mean, the very, this the very act of talking to the chef has actually made me hungry. <laughs> Don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook. I might I'm order some food. Facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, Excuse plumbing, me. Jeez. Didn't mean to yawn like I make that. Sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. <clears throat> no, no. No, no. You have to pull your own no, no. That's not luxury. That's, that's sanitation. You, 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 we we cannot be we cannot be saving the galaxy if we all have e coli or 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 tapeworm in the brain or any number of of of, of infections from bacteria viruses parasites wash your damn hands man you're handling the food Ugh. I'm sorry I'm sorry Wash your hands. Oh. 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 I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Okay. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Um, I would like permission to force that man to always wash his, ha wash his hands. Um, I will... I... I... I don't want to do anything underhanded, but I will do whatever I need to uh, to force that man to wash his hands. Have a minute, Miranda. No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What is Cerberus exactly? Oh. Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific... But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there, but not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Okay. What about the goals of Cerberus? Here, what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. And but really, who's in charge? By governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded, and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But Red flags. Flags. Advancement. 
red of a flag. No. Okay. So where do they re kind of where do these resources the come have? from? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. And what makes you think that? Sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Mm. Tell me about yourself, hmm. Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Okay. I feel... I do feel a little bad, then. I feel a little what bad that... What genetic modification are we talking about? It's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Mm hmm. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Uh, maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. I do feel bad of about... Of course, Commander. I, I feel a little bad. I did make a bit of snap judgment on Miranda. Like, I still don't think she's a good person. Uh, but she's definitely got more going for her. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. So, I'll, so we'll... We'll let her be there. Okay, no one else to talk to there. Just gonna go down to engineering. <laughs> uh, let's use the monitoring station. Everything looks okay down there. Alright, the cargo holds are currently sealed off, so we'll go this way. Ooh, wait. Stairs. Stairs. Where did the stairs go? The stairs go to the kind of sketchy underbelly. This makes me feel like at one point, at some point, we're gonna have a fight down here. At some point, there's gonna be a fight on this ship. You came all the way down here to see us. Well, yes. I'm touring the ship. Getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion system. What can we do for you, Commander? Yes. She... she <laughs> don't disrespect your fellow engineer. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FEA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA coupling. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field grid. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, <laughs> if we had T6 FBA couplers installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. 
Okay. Well, something like that already installed. It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Interesting. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and so we'll have to buy some parts in the Omega the sector. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. You saw Sovereign firsthand. Hmm. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost <laughs> respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Interesting. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you... I was very public with my defense That's for... That's an understatement. Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer that... But it got hmm. noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer... Interesting. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He so... Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines. So the two of them... Are the friends who everyone is just like, please, please just, just date already, just pair off, and you spend so much time together, you're basically already married. Please just go. You know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in the daddy bags. That's enough for me. Oh. Listen, if there is a if there is a mission that allows where you know if there is an opportunity, a mission of some kind that allows me to just uh where where's the ED terminal terminal? Did I miss it? Oh here. There's ED. Over there. What's this area of the ship? <laughs> if there's an opportunity to like try and force the two of them to sit down and go on a date I am going to take it <laughs> what's this area of the ship oh, what's Normandy's back there cargo deck. it includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle my last ship didn't need a shuttle hmm. Why would have one? this ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy it is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds Okay. Um, so it looks like there was a... Did I just, like, miss a door or something? Is there... No, I didn't miss a door. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, go this way. And now it's time to go back up to the uh, back up to the command deck. And Commander, uh, you've received a new message nope. at your private terminal. We got a new message. Okay, show me my unread messages. Nope, I do not have any. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm going to go to the Citadel first. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is so much nicer. The fact that it actually says what's at each of these. Okay. Uh, where is the Citadel, though? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the, uh, oh, here. Okay, so actually, at this... Interesting. Mass relay gets system to the... Okay. Cool. Uh, let me... Let me see. Okay. So... 
up here is the so there's palladium up there. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Uh, there's iridium over there. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, that was a huge spike in iridium over here. Perfect. Oh, there's more stuff down here. Probe away. So I'm gonna have to buy. Probe launched. All right. I assume I'm gonna have to buy more probes somewhere. But interesting. Probe away. All right. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Oh, 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 oh my! That's a big spike Probe of palladium launched. over there. I don't know. I don't think I love this mechanic, though. Probe away. Of actually having to, like, scan all over these planets for stuff. Probe launched. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're actually going to move on. Uh, oh. No, that's not what I meant to do. Uh... Yeah, it, it, it lacks stuff from going down to the uh, surface, um, but also, like, I don't know, something about just, like, also, uh, it's a little tedious, too, right? Like, uh, the kind of scrolling around, yeah, we have no probes left, yeah. Should hit to ple okay, sh yeah. All right, well, I'm I have to I backed way too far out there, didn't I? Um, so I need to go that. Um, but I mean, just like the fact that uh, uh, I don't have anything that would allow me to uh, all right, I guess I'm. Oh, there it is. That's the planet I'm trying to go to. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I. Yeah. Once we get a little further along, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll make sense when we get. Once we get a little further along. Okay. So. All right. We'll go here so we can recruit these people. Right off the bat, I guess. I mean, since it's right here, we might as well just go straight on to it. Um, but second, I want to go to uh, go to the Citadel. Most of these will be full missions to get. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That I mean, that makes. Makes sense. I mean, all right. Uh, sure, you can come in your sexy outfit, I guess. Okay. Um, ooh, I have points. Uh, I want. I think I want to get. I'm going to spend one point in synthetic stuff, one point in ammo. Yeah. All right. We'll do it that way. Uh, Jacob and Miranda are both going to be auto leveling. I set that up at the beginning. 
Uh, our loadout should be fine. Hmm. Hi, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Margaret, now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre Okay, to gotcha. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. After I mean, life. okay. Ow. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Okay. So the normal news back here. Transport table is over here. Uh, shopping over here. Apartments. Afterlife VIP. Lower afterlife. Afterlife. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go to the club first. Okay, we will talk to this DLC mercenary. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? That's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Okay, who's the guy? My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Mm. Tried to leave you on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money. Not many mercs would take us. Mm -hmm. Most mercs don't get enough. Okay. This mission doesn't sound like good business. But uh, well, we're going to... I want to finish asking about this guy. So what's next for him? Do I have to put him on my super These secret ship? Because I don't think it's a good idea to bring him on the new Normandy. Alright. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. <sighs> of course. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elthal Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We can absolutely do I'll that. Make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. Anytime we have a chance to uh, stop slave labor, I'm on board. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. All right. Well, I guess we'll go to Afterlife. We will go to Afterlife right off the bat.
Um, okay. I get the feeling that I... This is, that was basically just, like, free points for whatever direction I wanted to go in. Okay, Asari Dancers. Who else do I have to talk to here? Bartender. Uh, okay. Are we really going to get drunk? That is a very, very small bottle. And there was no liquid in that glass. <laughs> Alright, well, this is, uh, interesting. Alright, uh, I assume Arya is up here. Ah, here we are. That's close enough. <laughs> Use the helmet to deflect, yep. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. You can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Depends on the questions. You run Omega. <laughs> I am Omega. Well, you certainly uh, have an understanding you need more. of your position. I guess the one rule is don't piss you off. Don't fuck. Yep. With Arya. Yep. There it is. The one rule is don't fuck with her. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. For you. All right, we're gonna investigate first. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. Just don't waste my time. Uh-huh. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among <laughs> either. We'll see how you start. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. Interesting. And we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. All right. Tell me about Morden. Looking for Morden Solace. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Hmm. Just don't get drunk. He never shuts up. <laughs> if you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. What about I'm Archangel? To track down Archangel. You and Happy Omega. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, no, see, because if it was if it was COVID, they wouldn't. It would be all over the place, and they wouldn't have a quarantine zone. I'm sorry. Is that too real? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good. Oh. Interesting. But it sounds like they're having trouble finishing them off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay calm. I'm guessing that Garrus is Archangel. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. But I distrust them all evil. For now, I'm hmm. happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help them. All right. Sounds like I don't I'm going to go. Time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. Let's see. So you are the merc recruiter. working together to take down Archangel. You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is Interesting. Heavy? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jarrett's leading the Eclipse and Garn's the head of the Blood Pack. Eric's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Alright. What about the plan? Do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. Interesting. So you don't like it, don't sign up. If you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Uh huh. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. He's lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. Alright. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. And what about his location? Archangel's base of operation. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Alright. Go? 
Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of them. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. <laughs> hey, wait! Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. <laughs> I mean, I think I was just gonna get himself killed. Alright. I mean, look, I I was not about to let that kid get himself killed like that. Um, all right, I want to go. Uh, all right, we're gonna go into. Uh, we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping. Um, Come on, let me in. Because we're looking for. So that's the quarantine zone over there. Let me see. All right. So I want to go to. I want to go to the salvage area. Uh, oh. Okay. Wait. No. Turn around. Go back. Well, this is the Omega Market. Let me talk to Marsh. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. Hmm. Hmm. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. Don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So this. Um, well, we have a lot. We've got a fair amount of money. Um, increases storm speed by. T uh, I can buy an upgrade to my sniper rifle. Okay. Why? Look, look at that. What, why? What is this? What is this? Oh, the blood dragon armor. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> We're buying this. Uh, capacitor helmet. Um, sure, I'll buy that as well. Uh, we're gonna buy that because I have a feeling that we'll need, we can... These are useful things, um, that we can give to somebody at some point, maybe? What you got for me, Harriet? Mostly legitimate. With Perfect. Pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. 
take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy something. We're gonna buy that visor. Yeah, we're gonna buy that too. Capacitor chest plate. Yes, I will take that. I will take that. Look, I've got so much money that I might as well just buy all the stuff. And yeah, I'll buy a new weapon as well. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to have to go back to my own... I'm going to have to go back to the ship to to uh, actually use this stuff, but... Alright, so there is... Wait a minute, where is the... Okay, okay, so I have to go... This way. Certainly, people. Let's talk to the. Hey, it's a Corian. Might interest you in some salvage tech. Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me out this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Yeah, they weren't at all. <laughs> Uh, why are you here? Nice kid like you to Omega. My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Uh, okay. Easy enough. Oh, he left! He left! He shouldn't get to take my money anyway. Boo. That's fine. Uh. Do, do, do. Alright, um. Alright, I'll buy this upgrade. I've got a lot of. I got a lot of money. So, all right. I'll and I'll spend it on Okay. Let's see. Squad. Oh, I right, don't have any more. You don't understand or you don't want to. Uh, All right, I think I'm gonna have to go back to the ship first to upgrade to equip all these upgrades. Um, hmm. Lower afterlife, upper afterlife. Right, we're gonna go back to the Normandy uh, so that I can equip stuff. Uh, because I can't do it from here. So. So 
I want to I want to upgrade uh, install all all the upgrades that have spawned and then maybe swamp my armor I might oh what's through this door this is the door we came in okay All right, let's get on, go back to the Normandy. Okay. Uh, now I have to go. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I have a new message? Read my message. Um, stop me from signing up, yeah. Saw almost all the mercs had been killed by Archangel. Okay. Um, let's find... Alright, I need to go... need to go back to my cabin. So that I can... Customize my gear. Okay. My, the armor I want... Uh, oh, okay. So these are are fully locked down. Um, so we're going to use the capacitor chest plate and the stimulator conduits. That's going to be fine. So, okay. So if we swamped to the blood dragon armor, this is uh, 15 and 10 on power and shield strength. Uh, storm speed by 10 or 15 increases all weapons by... So the Termius armor is pretty good. This is also pretty good. Let me see if I can... No. Can I just turn the music off? That's fine. Uh, let's see. Do I want this or do I want the... Uh, capacitor chest plate is faster shield regen. Stimulator conduits is storm speed. So... Yeah, all right. That's fine. We can. I can work with this and then if I want it changed, I can change it later. Alright. Let's get back onto, uh, let's get back onto the station. Actually, you know what? Let's take a, let's take a quick break. Um, so I can get up, I can stretch, make sure Teddy's doing okay. Uh, we'll be back in about, uh, five minutes. See you soon.
All right, all right, all right. I am back. Um, one second. Just get a couple things uh, sorted out here. Make sure I turn off uh, some timers that we're running and everything else. We're uh, we should be all good. Uh, so, get back on the galactic map, and dock. Stick to using Miranda and Jacob. Uh, let's see. Uh, you still got that. Um, singularity projector creates a gravitational singular address nearby. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stick with the arc projector. Uh, for now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Okay. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Let's go this way. What's going on here in the apartments? Complaining is pointless here when there's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm hmm. human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. Interesting. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Aria Tilope calls the shots around here. Mm. She's got her little mm -hmm. blue hands on every business in this district. The plague is bad for business. It is just, a, yeah, I mean, like, leaving the quarantine zone. I. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? That crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. Like, I understand to a certain extent. I mean, this is like, this is supposed to be the slums, like, so she probably doesn't have a lot of money to handle everything else. But. You know, still. 
Uh, let me investigate. Tell me about Morden's Any idea Clinic. Where I can find Morden's Clinic. Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? I mean, Listen, I'll help. You're, what you really need is to get this problem solved right now. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine. Wait, you're stopping me, but you don't not have him? a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. <laughs> Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. All right, so we're gonna go. Get, we're gonna go get Morden first. Uh, um, and then we'll go figure out who Archangel is next. Um, I guess. So full, full on quest to get Morden. Nobody over there? Nobody's over there. Okay. What are we looking at here? Um, uh, lots of refined element zero. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. We've got ten arc projectors. I don't see anybody down there. So we're just gonna move carefully and see what we got. Okay, perfect. Well, because we talked our way past the guard, we're okay. Right, let's put the guns Field away. Clear. Uh, we did that. Let me see if I can talk to these guards. Can I talk to them? No, I can't. Okay. Good luck in there. Blue suns and vultures shooting in from the moon. Okay, that's fine. Is the are these guys? They've seen us. Here goes. Uh, bum 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 bum. Uh, so. Just left the dead in the streets. Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep All the plague right. from spreading. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> yeah. Not to infect us with this plague. Now you have the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> has done too much already your plague did this to me really your faint pity is the flame humans didn't create this plague lie your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus yours i need to find morden solace humans looking for the human <laughs> sympathizer i hope the vorture bird I all right <laughs> All right, we're gonna try and stabilize him a little bit. I'm okay with that. Oh, you, you help me. Why? That's what I do. I'm here to I help. I find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? Yes. What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. You know, I Since I wish that were the case, but that's simply not the way that this works. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the 
virus so they could take over the district. Fortuna are immune to disease. <laughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Uh, besides, the Vorcha aren't sm Sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it. Uh -huh. All the evidence points to your species. Tell me about you the Vorcha. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled it. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. Okay. Plague spreads. What about Morden? I need to find Morden he sir. has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. Uh, how's what he dangerous? Worse than dying from the the Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them. Oh! Them with some kind of uh. Then gunned them down. He's okay. Doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. All right, we'll send someone to help. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morden is. I should go. Goodbye. All right. Let's take the, uh, let's take that. <sighs> Find matching codes and locate and select the code that matches the code displayed on the top left corner, uh, and avoid red codes. Okay. So, target code segment is, wait, hang on, no, this. How do I wait? How do I select it? Uh huh. Huh? Yes. This. No, go back. Wait. How? How am I supposed to? Wait. How do I? S <laughs> okay. That was. We okay. Locate and sel. Wait. I have to select with space, don't I? Okay. All right. So. I'm looking for that one. Okay. Uh, that one. Uh, that one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was the space bar. I was trying enter and it, it didn't work. Uh, okay. Well, that's okay. We just, we got money. Right, let's see. Can I pull up the map here? Nope. Alright, so my main objective is that way. Uh, uh, can I take anything from over here? I don't think I can take anything from over there. I think that's fine. So... Um, what's through this door? Mechanical sciences. Ooh, power cells. Give me power cells. Let's see if we can bypass this. Connect matching pins. Okay, that's that one. Done. Okay. Ooh. This one's Turian. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. That's entry number one. Okay, what about entry number two? Three. 
And entry four. Oh, that's not good. That's that's not ideal at all. Um, so this plague makes people sick to the point that they hallucinate. Alright, let's see. Let's start our bypass here. Easy. Something else going on down here. Let's open the wall safe. Jeez. No thank you. No thank you. This is not effective quarantine either. Okay. Alright, I'm going to cloak myself. fairly straightforward. Gotcha. Another headshot. Easy. I think that's everyone. Yep, that's everyone. Put the gun away. Alright, let's see. So that's more ammo. Go this way. No, don't do that. Okay, run to the door. Start the bypass. You and you. You and you. You and you. You and you. And you. That's that. Sons have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting Neil? We didn't do anything. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting they sick. They should be now. looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to disease. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Well, nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a hmm. virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else. You said the Vorcha were taking over. Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you Interesting. First. What else can you tell the me? First the first case has cropped up about two weeks ago. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. 
Three days after the first outbreak, there were over... That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. How does it spread? How the victims contracted it? I'm not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Okay. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. What about Slarians? Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, a doctor with military grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. <laughs> uh, okay. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down, just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans, and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. It was cold. Must be Solarian special forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorches, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll wait here for a while. Uh, and we'll all right. Clear the way, if we're lucky. Easy, easy, Maybe easy, we'll right? Totally not a ridiculous plan. To tell them to just, you know, follow me around. Alright, let's see. This is all... Right. Ooh. This is valuable. All right. Open the door. Ooh. Uh. Enemy Turian. Now let's finish you off. What do we have down there? Okay, uh, you know what? Let me change over to... Alright, I'm gonna change to my... Come on, change guns. I want to change John. Why won't you let me change my gun? Thank you. You're done. <laughs> oh, that is that is definitely definitely a. Uh, Special weapon, isn't it? Alright, 
Uh. Ooh. Nope. 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 Mistake. 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 Uh. Get rid of his armor. Rip his armor off of him. Uh, and I'm gonna hit him with a big old explody gun. It seems we've crossed into Vulture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Okay. Gotta make sure I collect as much ammo as possible. Okay, I used up way too many of my grenades. Uh, let me see if there's anything up here I can do. Alright. Alright. The appropriate thing is behind me. This is the way we came in. Alright, let's see. What time is it? It is 1040. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, actually, and we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna clear this room here, and then we're gonna call it a night um I think uh so that we can uh we'll come back tomorrow um I know we haven't do been doing Mondays but forget it nothing but junk in here this place is worse than the last one what are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy yes, I will save. I'll make sure to save. We are just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're going to miss anything. We're just showing a little <laughs> entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. <sighs> Besides, if we don't take this stuff to Vorcha or Blue Suns will... Better us than them, right? Excuse me. No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Mm. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. All right, let's a see. Named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. Crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. So nobody really so has a good understanding of exactly when this thing started. Apartment. Taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Best everyone can tell, it was at least, really it was a couple of weeks ago. Whether one or two weeks ago. Alright, let's see. So, what about the Vorcha? Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take, I don't know who's going to come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Yeah, tell Morden. Me you know about Morden Solus. Be honest, man, you kind of had that come. No way, he's just a doctor. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. And the Blue Suns. I used to. Before the... I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship. All right. We need to there get we go. Yeah, sure. Don't worry. You made your point. We ain't going to steal nothing. All right. Let's go ahead uh, and save. Um, let me flop back over here. All right. So we've got the game saved. Uh, I know we haven't been doing Monday streams. Um, I think I'm going to come back and I'm going to try and do something a little earlier tomorrow. Um, start a little earlier so that we can get more in here at the end of the month. Uh, so thank you for joining me. 
Um, and I hope everyone has a good night, has a good week. Uh, let's see. Do we want to raid someone tonight? I don't think so. All right. So everyone have a good night and I will see you all later. Peace out.